Was that time? Yeah. One. How two. you doing? This is C from Willis. Um, this is part uh, three, I believe. Part three. And what we're going to be talking about is I've heard a lot about Chi Sao tournaments. And it doesn't make sense to me because Chi Sao is nothing more than a tool. Chi Sao is a tool for faster reaction time and being able to create more sensitivity in your arms and the muscle groups so that you can reach your opponent. So, to Chi Sao is simply, this is Pung Sao. Chi Sao is simply to be able to reach your opponent and know exactly where they're going when you need to strike. That's it. It's all it's for. It's all Chi Sao is for. That's it. It's for striking. It's to teach you how that when your opponent moves a certain way, you can go in an opposite direction. That's all it's for. It's a tool. So when, if he attacks me in, in with, a, with his punch, I can pop this thing, attack here, and step here. But if he stops this with that first strike, if I pop and he stops this, now we're close enough for Chi Sao to activate. So now I rotate into this, boom, and I start attacking. Simply because he punched, he stopped this. Now because he hit it, because of Chi Sao, I roll off. Here's a strike, here's another strike, there's a third strike while controlling the arm. That's what Chi Sao is for. It's not a, a group session. It's not therapy. It's a tool, just like everything else in Wing Chun. Last thing I want to talk about is, um, I've heard people say in Wing Chun, chase the center and not the arm. I agree with that and I know. I agree with the fact that you chase the center, but you have multiple centers. If I slice him down directly from inside of his shoulder all the way across his head, there will be even amounts on both sides. That will be his rotational axis, which is also called the center line. It still comes out to me and down to the ground, so it doesn't matter which center you're chasing. The problem is, is that if I chase this center when he punches and I go straight in, now if he throws that other punch, I'm supposed to just step in and get past it. That's if he's throwing a wider hook. What if he's throwing a short hook? So again, he throws that, I step in and I deflect it. Now, because I tried to step in, I've just gotten hit. Or he throws it, I step in, and now I've gotten hit right off of reaction. So, I don't say chase the arms, but you have to attack what's attacking you. That's just logic. So if he throws this, and he throws a second one, I attack it. So he's going to throw, boom, now I'm attacking it. Now, because that arm is still up, I'm just going to attack it and use it to bounce off. Again, he throws. This is the first strike off of this arm. So now I attack this arm again. Now I can use this arm as a spring to come back here. And now, because his arm is still up, I want to attack it to get it out of the way. I'm not going to chase his arms. Wherever his arms go, I'm not going to chase them. But I am going to attack them to get them out of my way so that I can continue attacking. So... Again, you don't want to chase, but you do want to attack. You want to destroy everything. Uh, again, this is Stephen Willis. This is my opinion, but it works. Uh, section 4, I believe, is coming. 4 or 5 is coming. I'm not sure where we are right now. Uh, the next section is coming, and that will be on what is known as the magnetic zone. All right, and thank you. Hit the red button. Mm -hmm. Bottom, on the screen, on the screen.